Welcome back, team. And we got a great question today. A pivot table can group dates into years and quarter. Can it be done for a six-month period, like January 01 to June 30? We can do that. But we're going to have to add a helper column. And this is really no different than if you're working in the data model when you have a date table, whatever summarizing attribute you want, you have to put it as a helper column in the date table. Now, we'll start off and just see if we can get the month using the month function. There it is. We'll click. This is an Excel table. So when I hit Enter, it copies all the way down. And I have two periods, greater than 6 and then less than or equal to 6. So I'm going to convert this to a true or false, which will divide each year into two parts. We'll say, hey, when is that greater than 6? When I hit Enter, we get false for the beginning of the year and some trues for the end of the year. Well, what is it that we want for the false value, which is the first part of the year? F2. We'll use the if function because we have two parts. Actually, we'll do comma, the true value first. That's the second part of the year. So in double quotes, July 1 to December 31, in double quotes, comma, and then the value if false, January 01. So June 30, and double quote, close parentheses, and I'm going to put a lead zero right here. There we go, and then enter. Well, that'll work, but all of the first parts of every year would be grouped together, so F2 at the top, and right at the beginning, before the if, we'll say year. Hey, we'll get whatever the year is. And we need to join that, so ampersand, double quotes, comma, space, and double quotes, and then ampersand. And that should give us a formula that we can use to get just what we want. There's the 21 first part of the year and 21 second part of the year. All right, so I'm going to click in a single cell, and instead of going to insert, pivot table, drop down, We'll use the keyboard, Alt-N-V-T. It got the table. I want to put it on existing. We'll say something like right there. Click OK. There's our wonderful pivot table field list. And sure enough, there's the half year. I drag it down to rows, and instantly I get a unique list. We'll drag invoice amount down to values. Right click number formatting, not format cells, number formatting. You can always tell you got the right one because there's only one tab. Really, Microsoft mislabeled this. This is not formatting cells. This is actually formatting the field in the values area. We'll say number, no decimals. Click OK. And bam, there it is. Half year summarization in a pivot table. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.